Hey everybody, welcome to Chief Eats. Ralph here, Steve there. We're in Santa Monica on Pennsylvania near 26th, the heart of food truck land. And Steve, these are not your grandfather's roach coaches. No, this is the newest development out there in foods any place in the world. There are about 150 gourmet food trucks from shaved ice to shaved pork. You can come out here, you can <laughs> smell them. It's unbelievable. It's an event that you can do. You don't need a table, you don't need a chair, you don't need barbecue. a lot of money. I smell food. I sense barbecue. We want you to join us and we'll take you and give you a little show. I'm going over there to look at that truck. Oh, no, 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 we're going over here. No, you go there, I'll go there. Okay. All right, we're out of here. Well, I got the truck. This is the truck, but where's where's Steve? I have no idea. Hey, don't you know that we can refuse service to anyone? I was going to order something, but with you driving, this can't be fast oh, food. Oh, get around, baby, because this food is delicious. Well, I'm, I'm the ordering. The problem is they let me drive the truck. I want a cheese sandwich. <laughs> uh, I'm not leaving this truck. I have found a truck from Sue Chef. Zach, welcome to Cheap Eats. Thank you. Sous chef in a truck, what are we doing? Well, basically we try to get it as classic as possible. We're using French techniques and we're bringing it to the street. Me and the executive chef. Whoa, 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 whoa. Executive chef? You got a sous chef and an executive chef? Like this I said, is a truck. We try to do everything as classically as possible. We're, we have a seasonal menu that changes as often as possible. Okay. Well, I see that you're just opening up and you've got a line full of people. What are they going to be ordering today? What's, um, what's, what's the best stuff? Well, they're going to be probably getting some of our truffle, white truffle popcorn. We have a braised wagyu beef slider and we have like a bacon grilled cheese with a nice big marmalade. Fantastic. And I'd like to sit at the best table, which is where? Um, Show me the table with the linen. You pick it. <laughs> okay, explain this to me. Why is there a TV monitor outside the truck? We want to give everybody a curbside experience. We want to make sure that they're coming to the truck and they're enjoying themselves while they're there. Well, my partner's going to be in the truck, or maybe he's in there already. I don't know. Uh, let's go in there and take a look. Excellent. You know, this this is a real kitchen inside here. This is no fake deal. This is not going up where they're steaming the hot dogs and laying them out there with a little ice cream truck. This is the real McGilla. We're going to make that gourmet salad on this gourmet truck in Santa Monica on a gorgeous day. So let's do it. This is actually our take on a steakhouse wedge. So what we do is we break our iceberg into half. We put it there. Put a little bit of our uh, our chimney, black chimney dressing. Is that stuff made ahead of time? Yeah, I, I actually make this probably once a week. I don't buy it in a ketchup no. bottle. Then. I make okay. a uh, balsamic chimichurri, then I okay. make, mix it with creme fraiche. A little bit of winter tomato on there. Well, look at the color. The color was amazing. Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Oh wait, is it this go on it? Yeah, a little bit of bacon. Is this real bacon too? A little bit of bacon. Oh yes. Throw a little bit of our house pickled okay. onions on there too. Oh yeah, let's try that. Throw those guys on. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Look at that. Oh, it's got good taste, flavor. The tomatoes have great color to them. It's smooth. It's got a delightful taste to it. It's not even taste that kind of sauce before. You know what I want? This is gourmet. Let's do a flambe! I want a flambe! We'll have to talk to Chef about it. Santa Monica, California, you put 25 cents in here and you get Tango Mango. All right, this is your operation. Yes. So is this shaved ice? No, it's not shaved ice. What it's is it? It's, an, it's Italian ice. Italian ice. Italian ice. So we're now going to Italy on a truck right here in Santa Monica. Exactly. And, and how do you make this stuff? Well, it's a mixture of natural fruit flavors, real fruit, and we whip it and uh, freeze it at the same time to a consistency that's close to ice cream. But but how, but how do you froze? Well, freeze? I really can't tell you the whole secret. Oh, but the there's, secret. A, there's a machine that we get from Italy that takes our combination of fruit, flavoring, and a little sugar, and we mix it, and we whip it, and freeze it at the same time. Okay. I'm not gonna tell anybody the secret how to make it. Just whisper <laughs> it in my ear. Did you get that? Okay, <laughs> so you know what I think we should do? I think we should go inside and have Ralph try eating some of this stuff for you. Okay, let's okay. do it. Well, I'm looking at some beautiful colors. What in the world do we have here? 
Well, we have um, some of our most popular flavors. Like, that is cherry. Yeah. That is chocolate chip. Chocolate this chip. is probably our biggest flavor. This chocolate is mango. Chip. Chocolate chip. Italian ice. Italian chocolate chip. ice chocolate chip. Can I have a sample chip. of it? You sure can. How do we do that? Well, this is how we kind of give up. I was samples. thinking of a big sample. Well, you can no, have I'm a big kidding. sample, but we'll get no, to no, that. No, no, how about no. this? Okay, let's All start right. there. So I normally just take a little souffle cup. Okay, you're so just scraping it right in the cup. That's right. Okay. Nice and textury. How you like that? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes this I'll do is this. Seriously good. Sometimes there are certain it's combinations got, that got, we it's use. It's got real texture in there. No question. It's got. I, I can taste the ice. Can you I can taste, taste the chocolate? The chocolate. Chip? I found the chocolate chip. I'm crunching on it. It's unbelievable. It's okay, good. great. Also, sometimes um, there are good combinations that go together. And if I want to like get somebody something that I think they'll like together, I'll take a little bit of chocolate uh -huh. and then I'll take a little cherry together. Yeah. And I'll give them a sample like that. Now we got and both hands yeah, well, I'll take this. Okay, good. All right. And you can try it together. How about that? That's really, really good. good. Really cherry. That's a serious we cherry flavor. We use real Mendocino cherries with that. That's exactly what it tastes like. Yes. Okay, all right, we got a customer here. So let, let's do that uh, four barrel thing we were okay, talking about. Okay, so, so you said the combination was chocolate. It's chocolate, cherry, coconut. Cherry, cherry. Well, let me do it my way. Okay. I normally put the darkest flavor on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so you have chocolate and cherry here. Yeah. And then you want it to have some mango and lemon. So just uh, to correct. make it a little pretty, yes. you'll put mango on the side here. Okay. And then we'll give you a little lemon. Okay. Here on the other side, make it really nice. And Art, I, I have a name for this. When you put it out on the board <laughs> outside the menu, it? what do you call it? Le Cochimo. Le Cochimo. Okay, it even sounds say. barely Italian. <laughs> okay, sir, here's your Le Cochimo. Oh, uh, maybe, me. maybe not. Maybe oh, I'll just have it myself because, man, this looks really, really good. Oh, please. What do you think? What do you think? I'm waiting. He's waiting. You know what? You look like a nice man. Oh, oh here oh, you go. Oh, Enjoy. Me, oh, That's a Le Cochimo. Oh my goodness. And you know what it is? Flavors like you're in Italy. Arrivederci! Okay, we're at uh, Barbie's Q. That's a barbecue food truck. And I'm with Mayor John Bowler. Hey, John, how you doing? My pleasure. Ralph. Okay, what's a mayor doing driving a food truck? Well, besides being mayor, I also used to be own a restaurant in the town as well. So this is more of a legitimate job than politics. <laughs> Very good. And and so this is now a restaurant on wheels. It is. We and do old school barbecue. But we've got beef, pork, chicken, all slow smoke, the traditional way over apple and oak. It's a traditional barbecue truck. Excellent. Where's Barbie? Barbie is working right on the side of the truck. We always have a Barbie here that does customer service. It's still a restaurant, Host, so we want hostess, to take care of our customers. Hostess and a waitress. Exactly. Okay, and, and I, I hear that the pulled pork is really, really good. True? That, that's what we're most famous for? Absolutely. I, I, I want some. I know my partner wants to pull some pork, so can you let him do that? Absolutely. And then I'm going to eat it. All right. Hey, John, thank you very much. My pleasure. We'll see you later. All right. This is the most fun part of the thing. I'm pulling the pork. Oh, no, we need a little more pork, man. I am a full pork. Oh, yes. Yeah, do it, do it. Whoa, whoa, yes. Now, what do we pull, put on it? Put some barbecue sauce on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that tastes so good. It'll put a hair on my chest. Mm. Barbecue sandwich. Now, can we put a little coleslaw on it, too? Let's put some coleslaw on oh, it. Oh, this, this is a homemade coleslaw. Huh? How about some beans too? You want some beans oh, on that? Oh, gotta have beans. Gotta have beans. Gotta have there beans. you go. Right. Put some of those beans on there. Oh my God. Oh, Wait a second. Look at that. I'm not gonna be short shut here. Okay. Okay, well you need a lot of napkins. But you know, I smell ribs. Can we do some ribs? Let's do some ribs. Okay. Okay. All right, and these smoked? They are smoked. They're smoked for about five hours over hickory and apple wood. Wow, wow. So now I'm gonna, are these called pork? Those are St. Louis spare ribs. Ooh. They're the center cut of the spare. They're the best part of the spare Ooh, Look, Look at those ribs. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to go outside and eat these, okay? Okay. Dale, you're amazing. Well, thank you very much. And uh, as they would say, I, the only way I found you is I just smelled you all the way down here in Santa Monica. <laughs> I started in downtown LA. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's it. We were at Busy's. 
We're at Tango Mango. And where's my Here's where's your ribs, my baby. Barbecue Lunch, from lunches. Barbecue. Lunch in Santa Monica. Take a big bite of that sandwich. Better believe it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, mm. I can mm. smell it from here. Mm. We've had a great day out here. I want all of you to go out there and try the 250 gourmet food trucks in Southern California. Give us a call. Give us an email. Let us know how you like it. I want to try every single one. As they say in the trades, just keep on trucking. You better believe it.